Dorian Perez has never met a challenge he didn't want to meet head on. And that's certainly the case here tonight as he chases his fifth power slap win against South Carolina's James Stonier. A rising star in a stacked heavyweight division, Dorian Perez won his first four power slap bouts. That was before he ran into Dwayne Crespo in July. Undeterred by his lone setback, the Californian wanted back as soon as possible. So he's returned to the apex and is seeking redemption when he meets James Stonier. On the verge of making the leap into the title race, should he defeat Perez, South Carolina's Stonier impressed in his May win over Camille Marusars, and he's prepared to deliver a memorable encore tonight. Coming up next, Dorian disturbing the peace Perez takes on James Sassbilly Stonier. There's Sassbilly, James Stonier, 33 years old from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. How much does he love this sport? So much that he says he has eight different bars in the Myrtle Beach area putting power slap on the TVs tonight. That Broadway area in Myrtle Beach, I don't know if you've been there before, Michael. Never. It's awesome. Bars are everywhere. You Sounds can probably like get in a lot of, of trouble there, no doubt. I want to go, and I want to go to one of his bars. You know, coming into this one, of course, last time out, he got the win, a unanimous decision over Camille Marassage. But you know, this is kind of a heavy night for him because, well, pardon the pun, and it's not a pun. One of his best friends, heavy. It is the, uh, the one year anniversary of his death. Sadly, he passed away in a drink driving accident. He was hit by a drunk driver. So he's dedicated this performance to his very, very uh, good friend who passed away, as I say, one year ago. Now, coming into this one, though, against Dorian Perez, he loves Dorian. He says he's a great guy, but I am going to take his jaw. And as you say, a lot of support in Myrtle Beach. He's on every bar in town. He's going to be a big star when he gets back there tomorrow night. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of work uh, with cardio neck working on the heavy bag. Dorian disturbing the peace, Perez. These fighter walkouts brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com. His last fight, his first loss against Dwayne Crespo. He's four and one. That was a wild one, Charlie. Yeah, it was a wild one. And Dorian Perez has experienced a lot of change since that last fight just a month ago. Instead of going back to his job as border security, he has instead shifted to doing private security work and he was raving about a recent job he had it was at san diego's comic-con he's a huge anime fan as it turns out and actually he works out in okotsky shorts he describes it as like a band of ninjas who are villainous but they also represent peace says he's kind of like that in a way as well so he can identify additionally guys perez says just last week a very close grandfather like figure of his passed away and it has really given him the fire to just as he said barrel through this fight in his memory saying quote I am ready to get my tooth knocked out though I kind of feel like getting a win and keeping your teeth intact might be the better option or am I wrong there uh, well I just you want to hold on <laughs> to your teeth regardless whether you win or lose you don't want to lose teeth and, and as a Brit I can say that you know what I mean <laughs> yes. we're, we're not known for the teeth uh, before the last one he was undefeated now if you ask him it was kind of a robbery, but it was an epic battle, back and forth, a lot of blood on display. I'm a fan of this man. This will be a great match. The Tale of the Tape brought to you by Power Slap Mobile. Download the Power Slap Mobile game in the Apple App Store or Google Play today. My son just did it, says it's awesome. All right, here are the numbers on the Tale of the Tape. James Stonier, the plus 110 dog, four inches taller, also has a two and a half inch reach advantage, three and a half inch reach advantage. Why can't I do my math, Michael? This is terrible. Let's just call it a reach advantage and send it to Justin Don't Bernard. ask me. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap Heavyweight Division and presented by Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands six feet, five inches tall, weighing in officially at 259 and one half pounds. Out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, he is the number five ranked heavyweight contender in the world, James Sassbilly. Let's go! 
And now, in the red corner, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet, one inches tall, weighing in at 264 and one half pounds. Out of San Isidro, California, he is a number two ranked heavyweight contender in the world. Dorian, disturbing the peace parade. Let's go, baby! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Dorian Perez. Come on, boys. All right, here we go. Main card starts now. Dorian Perez, we talked about that last fight against Dwayne Crespo. He messed up his nose a little bit, got hit in the eye, very animated blood coming from both guys' faces. And he count. lives for this right on three. Yeah, Dorian's a wild guy. You know, I was talking to him at length yesterday, and this has kind of changed his life in many, many ways. He's so motivated now to be the best version of himself, to inspire his family, to give his little brother the best life possible. But right now, he's going to take the head of James Stone here. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Sat him right down. Wow. Didn't like that. Well, I'm not surprised. Should have kicked him out while he's down. Wow. It's been about 20 seconds already. That is. Uh, come on. This is way past 10 seconds. Time. Oh, we call a timeout here. I never understand the timeout when it's a 10 second count, then they do a timeout. Surely it should be. It should be done. That's it. That's it. Well, it was about 20 seconds. Dorian Perez back in the winner's circle. Devastatingly powerful blow. I'm a big fan of this guy, and he continues to deliver. Dorian Perez from San Ysidro, California. He's a security guard working on the Mexican border. And there was no disturbing <laughs> peace tonight. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Look at Energy it. Unleash the Beast. Look at this guy go talk about Unleash the Beast. And this was a beast of a shot. A monster shot with gigantic power. James Stone here, I mean, he tried to fight it, tried to get back up, tried to stay stood still and straight, but forget it. Forget it, Dorian Perez with the round one knockout. Watch the feet. Boom. Clean slap right on the button. Fair blow from a nice guy. I'm telling you, he's now becoming an even better human being than he already was due to the success that he's having in power slap. Oh, massive power. As I say, I was talking to him at length yesterday, and he's kind of transformed his life in many, many ways, all for the better. But look at that. James Stone here, not having a good day right there. Dorian Perez said he lost someone who was like a grandfather last week, really had him extra motivated for this one, and it is a first-round finish for Dorian Perez. And he was letting him hear it. Yeah, I mean, that is adrenaline running through your system, spiking like crazy. He doesn't know what day it is right there. And here's Forrest. Look at, look at Forrest, the Hall of Famer. Get out of here. And now for the official decision presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order. Justin Bernard, our power slap announcer, stage is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tyone calls a stop to the match in round number one. Declaring the winner by TKO, Dorian, disturbing the peace. Yeah, <laughs> I wish exactly. you all could see the smile on Michael Bisping's face. He loves this He's shit. a wild man. And I do, I love it. I love the characters. You know, I mean, of course, you know, listen, we all love a good knockout. We love competition. But when you've got a bit of character, when you're a wild man like this, it makes it even better. And that's what we're seeing through this. We're seeing a lot of characters, personalities, badasses that are getting better and better every time we see them.
I mean, that was one hell of a blow. Look how far back kind of rotation he gets. Yeah. But two. I actually thought Stonier was going to get up for a second here. He looked like he had his wits about him, and then, uh-uh. And Stonier can take a good shot. Let's remember, last time out, he won by a decision at the end of round three versus Camille Marassage. So as I say, it's not like the man doesn't have a chin. And he's with Charlie Arnold right now. Guys, thank you. Dorian Prez back in the winner's circle. You came back here, you immediately said, good to be back here interviewing with me because it means you won. It means I won. And, and you're... even when I won the last time, you guys were doing something else, so I missed two times. So, man, I'm really excited. Excited seems like an understatement. You were fired up on that yeah. stage. I don't like when people talk shit, but then don't fucking, you know, back it up in person. It was real huggy and real cool in person. And then I see this fucking interview say, where, where I need a fucking pillow and a blanket. Fuck you, fuck the horse you rode in on, and, and fuck everything else, because you know what, man? You gotta act, that, act the same way in person as you do online, man. I've never been fucking inconsistent when it comes to that shit. Yeah, check out these replays. Like, talk me through your mindset in this moment. Talk to me now. Talk to me now, baby boy. I love, I love big opponents because they're all big and scary and shit. Now, fuck that. I'm the optimal fucking size for this. I can touch anybody's fucking chin. Let's go. And now with a performance as dominant as that, puts you in the hunt for the heavyweight title. Do you feel like you are deserving at a title shot? I don't care about deserving. My ranking doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. I don't give a fuck about no title shot. I'm here to fuck people up all day, every day. So we're going to keep doing that. Okay, so you maybe you don't care about a title shot quite yet, but is there anybody in the heavyweight division that you specifically have your eye on? Whoever wins against uh, Dwayne and, and Buffalo Shoulder, I want that. Uh, and also, Dwayne Crespo, I hope you're ready for a UFC fight, baby boy. Let's go fucking fight, you and me. Fucking Muay Thai champion. I'm the street beef, jab, street beef fucking champion. So let's get that. Dorian, you are awesome. Congratulations. Bye, Charlie. Have a good one. You too. Guys, back to you. <laughs> he is not awesome. like of Dorian Come Perez. On. I mean, that post-fight interview was brought to you by 10X World, 10X Your Business, 10X Your Income, 10X Your Life. Go to 10xworld.com.